Hi, today we're here to show you the Tau Delta Wing aircraft. It's a remote control aircraft that Breck Baldwin has designed and built, and uh, we're going to show you how we put one together. Um, this is a fully completed plane. Uh, as you can see, it's made out of styrofoam, a very malleable and destructible uh, fabric. Um, we use chloroplast for the one part of it, which is, uh, in this case, a Newport cigarette ad. Um, and this is the plane. This is a flyable model. It's actually missing its uh, receiver for the moment, but we're just showing you what one looks like when it's finished. So that's for that. And when you fly it a lot and you crash it, it looks like this. It looks like a wet towel. It gets mangled. It gets ripped in half. There's problems. This plane will still fly. Show them how floppy this is exactly. So this is a. It will fly. It did fly. It still does fly. Oh, actually. Here, let's prove that a little bit. We're not going to fly right here, right now. We got it. Tar it up. Ah, lovely. Oops. All right. All right. There we have it. Elvons up, down, left, right. That's how to control the airplane. Ooh, a little further degradation here. Just a little spot of tape. Take care of that. And, uh,. And there we go, spin up a little spin up the prop. Give it, full, give it the full juice. No, 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 we don't want to give it full juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like when it crashes, and now we're going to make a brand new one that'll look pristine like the other one, and maybe we'll give it a, a huck in the air today. And we'll show you how to do it. All right, first things first, we're looking for this size. The this raw is, materials. This is it right here, Dow Protection Extruded Polyurethane. Also known as quarter inch, no, three eighths inch fan fold. This stuff's slightly hard to find. It's better to get it surfaced from both sides. You'll have to call around a bunch. You could also, uh, you might be able to use cardboard. We've made them out of cardboard. We can make them out of anything. It's got to be light, durable, and uh, cheap is our main thing. Here's the actual template for the plane. It's literally 21 inches from top, from tip to tail, with two inches in the back for the L bond. But the L-bonds are these little moving surfaces in the back. So basically you want to make a 23-inch line from top to bottom, uh, and then you want to go out 21 inches. So, and when you're done, your line across the bottom will be 42 inches. So it's a 42-inch bottom with a 21-inch to the top. We'll mark and then we'll cut just to give you an idea. Um, so this is our template. Just going to be quick about this. None of these dimensions are particularly crucial. Just kind of all comes together. This airplane likes to fly. Okay, that's one side. Just flip this over to the other side. And then you cut it. This is the template for the rudders, and it's eight inches by eight inches with a little bit of. Um, slot actions, uh, slide them in. There's actually no glue holding them in or tape. They just sort of slot in and go back. So uh, just, you know, MacGyver yourself up the adjustments here. You know, this is, it's on the website in greater detail. So we're just going to use these templates and cut two of them out. They're all nicely set up. Start doing our cuts. Now that you've measured that out and we've cut the L-bonds and taped them on, you see how easy it is to create the airframe. Um, eventually what we're going to do is put the deck in the center and cut a, slat, a slot in the middle so you can uh, fly this thing. In fact, we'll cut a slot in the middle now just to demonstrate the basic control surfaces of the aircraft. One cut. Make it a little bit of room. A sixteenth of an inch is fine, just as long as you don't bind. So this is how this airplane works. This is up, down, <laughs> one way and the other way. <laughs> That'll make it go this way, roll this way, and that'll make it roll that way. So there you have it. The next thing we need to build is the deck. The deck is what has all the electronics on it and all the control surfaces. And the way that we make these planes, you can crash the airframe and replace it as many times as you want, but the deck stays the same from plane to plane. Uh, 
this is the deck. Um, this is where all the radio gear is mounted, um, and it makes it very easy to transfer between um, towels when you tear them up, like as you saw before. Um, it's 15 inches long. Um, it's 12 inches wide. The prop cutout is 10 and a half inches wide with a two inch um, hole there. Um, the back of the hole that cut out is five and a half inches from the trailing edge of the deck, or this edge of the deck, the bottom of the deck. Um, so we're just going to cut it out of uh, coroplast real quickly. It um, doesn't need to be super precise, but it's helpful if they're all mostly the same so we can swap parts out easily. Try not to readjust our template too much because it'll cut too. Finish out this hole. Punch it out. There you go. This will be a good basis for your Elvon control horns. Um, so save it. All right. To build a towel, you need to buy some parts. Uh, we tried to get the cheapest parts we could, and we found a nice combination that ends up being around $100. First thing we have is our motor and speed controller. Um, they come in two pieces. Uh, you have to solder a few of those bits together, which we're not going to show you right now. Um, we also added a uh, quick mount for the prop, and the propeller is about a dollar. So right there, that's about twenty dollars we're looking at. Next thing you need to buy are servos. We found some very inexpensive ones that end up being like eight dollars a piece. Um, you need two of those. Uh, they're standard uh, servos for RC uh, planes or anything. Uh, if you have some, by all means use ones that you own. The next thing you need to buy is a radio and receiver. Uh, this is a model that we bought and tested and we're not doing an ad for them because we didn't really like the product, but we're just showing you how to build using it. Uh, we found one that's about $50. The next thing you need to do is you need a battery. Uh, we decided to use the Black & Decker VPX battery. It's a two cell. It's an A123. It's very robust uh, and if you can see, as you can see from its casing, you pretty much can crash it a lot and it will not break. There's two other things you really need to make, you need to manufacture to make the plane work. Uh, one of them is the Elvon horn, uh, which Breck is holding up. Basically it's another piece of chloroplast, which we sh showed you, uh, you have extras of from cutting your deck out, and a credit card. Uh, the credit card is there with the triangular form and you heat up a piece of uh, metal and make a hole in the back of it and then glue the whole thing in. And you make two of those. The next thing you have to make is the control rod, which you can use a barbecue skewer, which is our favorite, but we keep saying you can use chopsticks. We haven't done it ever. We use barbecue skewers. Uh, and some piano wire, you bend the piano wire, you bend it in an L shape, and put it against the end of the skewer, and put glue and shrink wrap on it. Uh, you do that to both ends, and then you get your control rod. The control rod uh, connects from the servo to the Elvon, and that's what controls the plane. And if you put that in place near on the deck, you can see where it goes. So once you have that set up, you do that twice, and you start putting things into the deck.